Okay, this is Susan and I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Um, also picked up at Memory Bound the Tim Holtz Ideology Ribbon Ruler. Really, really like this. It's real heavy. It's real textural. Very vintage. And, of course, I had to have the Tim Holtz Film Strip Ribbon. It's a plastic ribbon, and I'm sure that you've all seen it. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing around with this. In fact, I had one. This is the second one that I'm on. So I'm sure it will get used. And I also recently made a trip through Tuesday mornings. And like most of the Tuesday mornings around the country, mine had the Tim Holtz Ideology Grunge Board packets on sale. And this one, I don't know if you can see the texture. There you got it. It's the Swirls. And this is the digits and punctuation set. It's got all of the all of the numbers plus punctuation and brackets and a few other fun things. And I love my grunge board. I use it all the time. This is the uh, ideology shapes in the Harlequin pattern. Make sure you can get a look at that texture on that. And these have circles and squares and rectangles in various sizes. <coughs> Excuse me. I also picked up a pack of the basics in the Harlequin. So I'll have that to cut up and use for different things. And of course I picked up the alphabets in just the plain. This one is not a textured set. Um, every letter of the alphabet, it's something like um, nine complete font sets and of course I'll probably mix up the font sets and not actually use them together anyway but it's always nice to have complete sets and I also do scrapbook shopping in places other than the scrapbook stores I like to grunge around and see what I can find and we have a flea market not too far from my local scrapbook store and I like to stop there and look around and see what I can find and on a recent trip I found this pair of clip earrings and yes they're actually clip earrings although I don't know who would have ever actually worn these but if you look at the center of them those are just let's see if I can get that to focus sorry about the blurry picture here I'm having a terrible time getting that to focus There we got it. There you go. Now you can see that. Really cool. I really like that heart. It's got the nice rose detail. And it's also got these beads that go around it. So I'm sure I can take these apart, cut them apart with my side cutters, and have some really cool adornments for my mini pages. And this is another clip earring. You can see the clip there. I will likely cut this off right there with a pair of wire snips and these are going to find their way into my collection as flower centers I just think those will be gorgeous on a nice fabric flower and there's a pair of these earrings and I believe I paid a dollar for the pair so really really inexpensive ways to find unique really vintage things for your projects and here's another one, and this is probably about my favorite of all of them. I want to make sure you can get a look at that. There you go. Really sparkly and glittery. And again, this is actually um, a lady's lapel pin. And I'll just take my side cutters, cut those off, and that'll be a flower center somewhere. And these little earrings, this is a little pair, these are a little pair of pierced earrings. And there again, those are just really sparkly. Let's, let me get this to focus better for you so you can see it. There you are. And those again, I'll cut the back off and I'll make that into a nice flower center on a fabric flower. And another thing I like to pick up are really truly old buttons and this is a set of brass buttons that I found 
and they're just really you can see they're really they're beat up and dented and scratched and I just love them they'll look so cool on one of my mini pages and here's another set that I picked up and you can see you can see how worn those are they're even rusted on the back they're so worn and there you can get a look at those they've got little ships anchors on them and I'm sure I can find a use for those and when I'm out vintage shopping, I always try to keep my eyes open for vintage necklaces and bracelets. Um, lots of vintage beads. And this is one I found. It's a necklace. And I'll show you. It's supposed to go this way. It's a little vintage choker. And what I will likely do with it is take it apart and use it to hang charms from really like that. Uh, I think it was a couple of bucks. It was it was really inexpensive. And that's what I found is the best way to find my some of my nicer things is just haphazardly. And these I <laughs> these I have to show you. And again, these will probably end up adorning the centers of flowers or next to a flower on a mini page or an album cover. And what these actually are See, let's see if we can get the picture of that hole for you. There you go. See that hole? These were actually ponytail holders, and the ponytail holder went through this bracket here. And what I'll do again is I'll just take my side cutters, cut this off, and it'll be ready to mount. Also want to share with you, and I seem to have misplaced it. Here we go some sheet music that I picked up at the flea market and I like really old things and this is neat um, I'll use this sheet music I'll either use it on the backs of prop behind pictures or I'll make flowers with it this cover has some really cute vintage see the little guy there um, images on it and real cute and here's another sheet of the same one. So I've got quite a bit here. And these are actually, let me see if we can get this. These are actually little samples and they're they're quite a bit smaller than the actual sheet music. I think these would be really, really nice cut into border strips. And then I can ink them or do whatever with them. And one more piece of the sheet music. And then this one has, this is another set, and how's that, how's that for some neat, look at the, the vintage graphics here, how is that for a picture? I'm not quite sure what I'll do, but you'll see here it's actually autographed. So I may have to make a mini album, and at just this size, just so that I can use this for the cover. I, I don't quite know. She's so cute and she's homely and she's a little scary all at the same time. And there again you've got more sheet music. And on the back of this one it actually has these little miniature sheet pages of sheet music printed on it. And I can just see these uh, as the background for a mini album page. I just think those will be really cool. Really fun to play with. And I think I'm out of time. That was the buzzer again. So thanks for stopping by and watching my videos. And we'll be back real soon.